Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Botox Media. Today, I'm joined by Caleb to do something we haven't done on this channel yet. A tier list. Everybody loves tier list, Caleb. Today, we're doing the Super Mario main series tier list. All of the main 2D and 3D games. I think yeah. we've done this in the past, like just to ourselves. These usually get pretty uh, heated. We're definitely going to do more of these with other guests like Pokemon. I don't want to do with Evan for sure. Maybe Ty played. Yeah. Um, but today, we're doing Mario series. Just starting it off basic Mario. Um... Do you, how the do you Mario one is usually the one that gets the most heated, I think. <laughs> Especially between but, uh, us. Between us, for yeah. sure. Zelda, I think we agree a little bit more on. but For uh, the most, mostly. But for Mario, bro, more. we have completely different opinions on the series, so... Hate you! <laughs> <laughs> Once, right, let's okay. just, let's let's, just start from the first game. Let's go. Yeah, let's just get in order. Getting the 2D stuff out of the way, this is going to be the shortest section, probably. Um... And now, how should we rank these? Should we rank them on, like, historical relevance? The fun, the fun factor today... I like, think we honestly, should just do playing it today, whether or not it's good. I personally that's, still that's, think that's the most is, I personally still think Mario Bros. One is play, fun to play. Super Mario Bros. I should say. I don't know. Like I, I mean, would, the fact that it's the first one definitely makes it more fun to play, just because of the novelty. unique element there. Yeah, I don't. I think there are. This is probably, as far as gameplay is concerned, probably the worst one. Mm. Um, or or. <laughs> like to, like worst three, but I I'd put it if we're ranking it like how good I think it is today, I'd put it in like D. Ooh. But d for the fun factor, the fact that it's a novelty, I think I'd put it in like C. Yeah, I mean here I don't know, maybe it's just me. I have a lot of nostalgia for this game because I played it growing up on Game Boy as a Game Boy Classic, and in my mind it wasn't an NES game. I was like, oh, I'm just playing a Game Boy game. It did it. That was before I understood consoles, Caleb, and I was like, oh, yeah. it's Mario. So for me, if you're putting it in D, I say C. Let's put in C, I think, is fair. Um, yeah. Now, keep in mind, I haven't played... The thing is, you've played a lot of these games when you were growing up. I played a Mario game first in, like, 2013. So... Yes, I played... I have played pretty much all of these as they came out post-64. Sunshine, I, have I played basically, like, when it was newish. Yeah. When, when it was the current Mario Galaxy I played, I got that with my brother on Black Friday. So, um, most of these I played as they came out. Um, yeah, for me, I basically have very little nostalgia for this so it's not like oh i had fun as a kid because i mean the thing is obviously nostalgia is a thing it factors into it Bo, yeah. teasing um <laughs> but like whether or not the games are fun to play for you is obviously going to be different even if you have nostalgia so it's yeah. whatever also um, i mean we're, not, we're obviously we're not gonna get to this yet i would say the same way nostalgia factors into this for me probably is factoring in for you since you didn't play mario games until around this time yeah. anyway let's move on Mario Bros. 2, The Lost Levels. I honestly think this is a little bit worse than the first game, personally. Um, I mean... Just because it's harder. <laughs> I, don't know I, I, I haven't beaten this one. I've only played it, like, once. I didn't beat it. I got to, like, World 8. Um, I thought it was... It's basically the same to me. It's, it's just a little bit worse just because it's harder. But, like, that's it. Yeah, I, I put it in D, personally. If, if you're fine with that. Because yeah. you were... Yeah. It, it's, it's more Super Mario Brothers. Now good but like and here's the thing i guess we should establish this now i said we rank these also within each tier yeah um, i agree so super mario bros 2 the reason i say that is because i don't i think this game is better than the first game uh, this is obviously mario 2 usa i don't think it's a tier above it though i think it's just the no. same tier but better personally yeah i don't have I agree to see, with that. and here's the thing with these next couple of games not world but really just two and three two usa and three i don't have a lot of like specific memories with these games mario 2 usa i i I enjoyed. I remember playing it like on 3DS Virtual Console and all that, but um, it's not the same for me as Mario One. So my 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 memories of it are a little bit more foggy, especially with Mario Two. Are you, are you okay with this placement, by the way? Yeah, it's good. With Mario Three, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is like the I think this might be the only game on this entire list I have not actually beaten. Every time I play this game, I know this is sacrilege. I know people say this is better than Mario World. I don't know, man. I think it's fine. I would put it below these. Maybe not below that. I, I, I would put it below this. I'd put it here, probably, personally, on my list. I get that it's I probably would, up here for a lot of people, but... Um, this is not even close to Mario World, in my opinion. <laughs> like, it's good. No, it's not but, even. No, Mario... Well, yeah, spoiler alert for Mario World. Mario World is... Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not Better even. Better game. Um, I'd say... I'd say it's C or low B for this one. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll do C then, because I, I personally... I like Mario 2 USA more. Um, I like three more, but and that, to be like I said, I, I do need to go back and actually fully play through it and finish it. I played it a lot. I just never actually. I don't know. I, it would always be. It was always a game I played in like short bursts, so like it never left. I mean, for, on me. 
for, for me, the thing is, which is kind of ironic, the reason why I never beat 3 isn't because I didn't like it. It's because there's no save feature. Yeah. Which, which for the most fair, part, I was playing a, on, like, a cartridge. Right, which so. is why you played on 3DS Virtual Console, or Wii U. <laughs> um, so I I play play on Wii U. Uh, Super Mario Advance 4, because that one has the uh, e-reader levels. Yeah, get that on Wii U before the eShop closes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, we're getting, now we're getting to the good games. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, I think there is one 2D Mario game on this list better than this. However, I would still want to put this in A. Mario World is a classic. I think it is arguably the best 2D Mario. Maybe, I think depending on how, on, on think, the day of the week, I might say it is the best 2D Mario. But this is my second favorite 2D Mario game. Okay. Yeah, I, I, we were, I think we're both in agreement on what that one that could be better than it is. Um, yeah. But yeah, like I said, any game of the day of the week, I could honestly flip on this. Mario World is so good. I don't. The fact that people even compare this to me is asinine. Like honestly, yeah. it's not even comparable. <laughs> Mario World yeah. is so much better. The world map is so iconic. The levels are so iconic. The themes. It introduced Yoshi. It introduced so much that the series is known for. Even just the idea of a Mario World, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Like the basis for all the new Super Mario. Yeah, literally, Mario World set the basis for everything. Um, and it holds up. Like you still play this today. I, I these these aged. All these other games have aged. Mario World. That still looks like a game that you could release as like an indie game on the eShop, and that'd be completely fine. So, Mario World yeah. is a timeless classic. So I, I, I don't put it in S rank just because that's 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 reserved for the big boys, you know. I, I mean, there's like some quality of life stuff that you can improve with World, but for the most part, it's pretty good. Yeah. So yeah, A rank for me. Um, maybe even low S, but we'll we'll leave it here for now. Uh, I'm not really sure why this is on here. I I, I get it. It's, it's a Yoshi it's, game. I don't. It's count Mario it. World I have not too. It you have not played it. I I've only played the GBA version, and oh, that was a long time ago. Just for the sake of this list, we're gonna put it here, especially since you haven't played it. My memory of that game is very foggy. I played Yoshi's the Island DS and then Yoshi's New Island, but you haven't played it recently enough to give yeah. a rating on it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave that here. I know it's a timeless classic. People love that game. We're leaving it there just for the sake of. The sake it's of it's also not a Mario game. <laughs> yeah. So As, hey, maybe Mario. Uh, moving on to the GBA or Game Boy games, I was gonna say GBA. Uh, we have Mario Land and Mario Land Two. Mario Land One sucks. <laughs> I like. I mean, I think Mario Land One is probably the worst one, but I don't, I just like it because it's so short. You can beat it in twenty minutes. It is a fun novelty, similar to Mario One. The difference is Mario One is actually fun to play and control. Mario Land, I don't think is. Mario Land just controls worse. So for me, I but, would personally uh, put Mario Land here. But <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. Are we gonna use the entire thing? Are we gonna use E and F? Is there enough? I don't think there's do a single Mario game that deserves to be an F tier of these. Yeah. Um, I would say Mario Land is the worst one so far. So like, it's fine. We're fine with that. Okay, that's. I think that. I think. I think this is the lowest we're gonna go. There's I mean, I don't know if it's a full tier worse than Lost Levels, but. Mm, I I would say it probably is. Although I don't know. Maybe we we honestly we'll, let's just get rid of this. Hold on. <laughs> we don't yeah. need that one. Yeah, we don't need that. It just made it look uh, cluttered. Okay, and then Mario Land two. So I've only played this game once. It's been a long time when I played it on the 3DS Virtual Console. Um, a lot better. Obviously, a huge improvement. I don't know how much better it is, though. Do you have more? It's not better than the first game. I mean, I, I don't it's remember the last time it was. No, no, I'm saying it's not better than Super Mario Bros. 1. Okay, Phew. I was about to be like, bro, what? <laughs> this is obviously better. Um, I would probably yeah. put it here or here, based on my memory. But, um, it has, yeah, don't, don't forget I mean, it has the Mario, like, where you go into his crotch, right? As, like, one of the levels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a, like a, there's like a mecha mario or something yeah. you go into yeah uh, I, yeah that's fine yeah once again another game that i'm not super familiar with recently so so far uh not not too much disagreement here um uh, all right hopefully that doesn't happen anytime soon yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right uh let's see super 64 let me okay no you, let me say my piece let me say my let me say my uh, damn you, piece you, you have yeah go ahead okay <laughs> i admit it i am biased i grew up in mario 64 I was playing this game when I was like three years old up until now. I play this game every year, multiple times a year. It is one of my favorite games of all time. It is a timeless classic. Caleb over here seems to think that the game is bad because of the camera. I don't think the game is bad. Controls. The camera no, is no, you terrible. Have verbatim, it is not. Okay. Not to get ahead of ourselves. You think the camera in Sunshine is better. Bro, it's it not bad. even close. The camera in Sunshine is 
are, I think, one of the most broken cameras in a video game I've ever controlled. Well, we'll get to Sunshine. Let's just talk I know, about well, I know. I'm just saying. To even compare it to Sunshine is offensive, in my opinion. Sunshine is awful in that regard. 64... Honestly, I know I'm biased because I played it so much. I'm just used to it. I don't really see the issue with the, the camera. What's what's your main reason for not liking it? And I know I know it's not just you. I know it is a common complaint, but I, let me hear your side of the camera argument. <laughs> so I think the general consensus, and this is what I think. I haven't asked many people, but here's here's my opinion about the camera. The reason I don't like the camera isn't because the angles are bad. For the most part, the angles are good. But sometimes it just won't let you move it at all like it'll give you the the x sound it's like darn it kind of thing like it won't let you move the camera whereas like in a modern game for instance if you turn the camera and like you're next to a wall it'll just like zoom in to you right and let you see what you're trying to see in this game it just won't even let you turn the camera at all so you can't even see what you're trying to see that's the problem that's I the mean, main problem I don't I I don't I fail to see many instances in this game where that would really become an issue though. When 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 do you need to look that closely behind Mario's shoulder? I mean I'm trying not trying to look closely, I'm just trying to get a better angle. Because I, again, you have like a you can't like turn a certain amount of degrees. It's like it turns sixty degrees every time you press the button. Mm. I don't know. I think I think the way the levels are designed, that never really becomes an issue for me. Once again, Wet Dry game. World is the biggest problem with that one, with the camera. That one specific star. I'll give you that one star at the top. That one is a pain because you have to like it's like the super thin path you walk on. I I'll give you that. <laughs> that one's not. What dry world in general is the worst world in the game, <laughs> by far. In fact, yeah. if if this if you guys like this tier list, maybe we'll do a full Mario sixty four world tier list. I mean, I I could go on for that about for hours. Basically, the camera inhibits your control. That's that's why I don't like. And it. see, for me, it doesn't. So for me, I think. Mario 64 has the most iconic worlds of any Mario game, 3D Mario game. I think it is the most fun to control of any Mario game. Mario's movement, I think, in this game is immaculate. There's only one other game on this list that I think, I think even rivals it. Um, Sunshine, like we, you said, we'll get to. It's not fun to control. Galaxy is a different style of game. And then 3D Land and 3D World are very different also. So really, I'm, carrying, I'm comparing... Mario 64 is comparable only to two other games, Sunshine and Odyssey. Only Odyssey, oh, yeah. even remotely comes close to it even in some areas surpassing it right but all right so for the sake of your ranking you'd put it in s well for the sake of my ranking spoiler alert, i think it's the best mario game they've ever made it's go it goes up here <laughs> right. so for me it'd be here yes <laughs> and for me i would probably put it above mario 3 oh my you put you put it below mario world bro bro oh, absolutely i put it in it's not even in, close i put it at the top of c that's right, put it. Bro, it's not even close. Well, we're gonna have a friendly uh discussion. We're gonna have a friendly thing here. And whenever we get to the one that I disagree with, we'll also just put that in S. <laughs> Are you okay with this? Can we can we can we can you give me this one, Caleb? I'll I'll, I'll give you yours. You give me mine. I think this yeah, is fair. Fun. I think this is fair. It's fun. <laughs> but for all future reference, no. That Caleb does not like good games. Well show, tell, tell us what you think in the comments. Who's right? Yeah, who's right here? Who's right here? <laughs> Um, now we can all agree on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I dude, I hate Mario sixty four. <laughs> just immediately, dude, just the opposite I mean, ends of the spectrum. I don't, I don't think. Okay, or, I, I don't think it's below Mario Land. I don't think it's much above that. <laughs> but the reason, okay, I'm gonna tell my reason why I don't like sixty four DS. I want you to explain yours because the fact that there's this huge disparity between the N sixty four and DS versions, I really want to hear. But for me personally, because it's not simpler. I don't really like 64 that much to begin with. I think it's good, but I don't think it's that great. Um, 64 DS basically controls the same. It controls worse. But you're using it, but you're using a D-pad instead of an analog stick. Hey, it's worse. So it's worse. Wait, it's, it, it, it's basically it, Mario 64, but worse. It is funny that your entire thing is controls. I have no issue with the controls in Mario 64. Mario 64 DS, the controls are ass. That's me. I, I I don't know if I put it. I'd probably put it here, honestly. Um. I don't like the other characters. I don't think they're fun to play as. I think it just dilutes the entire experience. Yeah, um, especially playing as Yoshi. Yeah, that's no, not, it's, it's, it's not fun. I, I will give it this, and I wish, I hope one day we get like a full Mario 64 remake where maybe they do this. I would love to see the new content that they added to Mario 64 DS and a game with good controls. With good controls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, the, like the Poison Goomba swamp area. That was cool. The, the Silver Star stuff, that's cool. I'm fine with more content being added. 
I just don't think the DS was the right platform for this. If this come out on 3DS, I think it would have been fine. Yeah. And I will say the mini games in this game are a bop. You got your little bomb sorting game. You got your. I have not played the mini games. Not, Fire, fire mini games. Uh, but Mario 64 DS, I just. So is that your main reason to like the controls make it so bad that it drops like five tiers? Yes. And also, I mean, it, it visual. It's, it looks worse. It it runs more. It just is. It, worse. it is. It's lower resolution. I think. I, th I, I the think the graphics are technically better, but the resolution is right. worse. Right. Really, honestly, I, maybe even above the controls. I just don't like the characters. I don't like that. I don't, okay, I don't like so you don't like the characters, the controls. Yeah. Um. So for me, that's about where I'd put it. Like that's fine. Um. Yeah. But you, I just you, you think put, that you, you put this here anyway. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I think Mario sixty four DS is. Spoiler alert, the worst 3D Mario, but, uh... <laughs> I mean, usually in these debates, I don't even bring it up, because it's yeah. so irrelevant. Um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> and to be fair, I haven't gone back to it since I was a kid. Maybe if I went back to it and played it again, I would maybe view it a little bit. I played better. it last year a little bit. I played, like, the first level. I'm like, man, <laughs> this sucks. Especially after playing... Even, playing... even playing on the Wii U when you have, like, an analog stick. Now, you don't get analog control... But it still, it still sucks better. to play. It just, it just feels better. I played it on 3DS also at one point, and it just feels better. It, obviously, you don't have actual, you know, it doesn't actually fix it, but it does. Just a feel on Mentally your feels better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to this eventually and, and try it again. But, uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's going there for now. Sunshine. So, um, game I grew up with. I was playing. I played both these games at the same time, like as a kid. Um, we had an N64 and a GameCube, and then we got a Wii like a year later, all around the time I was like four to seven years old. So all these games were, all three of these were like very similar time frame for me. I never beat Sunshine until 3D All-Stars came out, however. I mostly watched my brother play it, and then I would play it some. It was always one of those games very much like Majora's Mask, where I, mm -hmm. I just did not like it. I had this perception in my mind where I just did not like the game. I still think it is the most unpolished Mario game they've made like mainline mario game they made i think it, it controls the worst of any mainline 3d mario game it is not a bad game i would still put it here though personally yeah um for me personally actually no i put it here yeah so for me personally um i also like sunshine um i disagree with you on the controls and the camera i think the camera itself is still not great um i, I think it's better than 64 just because you have more control over it but the problem with the camera is that it's like when you go up against a wall it just goes it's like a normal wall. yeah it just goes in the wall so you can't see anything so it's it's useless i also will say some of the star uh shine sprites in this game a little bs so some of the stuff in this game is just it's just it goes back to what i was saying with unpolished it's very janky this yeah. game is janky it's a very janky unfinished game yeah it's not bad Except I like it. It, like, has, um, it has a lot of charm. That manta ray level, that is awesome. But it is very janky. <laughs> like Nico Harbor, is that what it's called? Yeah. That's like the that level, there's a part where like you're going into like these little tiny like like cavern type of things that are in like this cliffside. Dude, that that, that one, is, dude. Horrible. Dude, is horrible. Like the thing the thing is it feels like you know, obviously like in most of these games, the design is like really tight. Like you know where you're supposed to go, how you're supposed to get up there. With Sunshine it's so unpolished. It feels like, is this the right way? Like, am I doing this correctly? Or am I just, like, exploiting the game? Right. And I will say, going back to 64 for a second, there are certain worlds in that game that I, I would say give a similar vibe if you don't know them. Specifically, Hazy Maze Cave. Um, yeah. I, I'll just, just to get ahead of it, if anybody comments that, Sun, they both kind of have that a little bit in some worlds. Sunshine, yeah. I think, does it more frequently, though. I will say Isle Delfino is a great hub. Arguably mm -hmm. better than Peach's Castle. I have a lot of nostalgia for Peach's Castle, but shout out. Yeah. Um, and uh, there is one more thing. I disagree with you on the controls. I think this control is better than 64. And I especially like when you're able to like spin around and like do the like little spin when you spray water in a circle and all that. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Um, the only thing I wish it had was the long jump. It doesn't have that. But besides that, I think it controls. I think it controls better than 64. 64 DS, obviously, and um, Super Mario Galaxy. Interesting. Well, where would you place this personally on your list? I think that's fine. That you're fine. Hey, right there is good. And then yeah. this would still be down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Moving on to Galaxy, uh, we've had we've been talking to our friend a lot about this game recently. Just whenever it comes up, we keep talking about it. You and I are not very positive on Galaxy, specifically the first half. This game is really slow at the first half. 
Yeah. Once again, I am nostalgic for this game. I remember going to Circuit City with my brother and getting it that Black Friday. Honestly, I'm about to do something very controversial, Caleb. Go ahead. I would put it there. I'm not. That's gonna exactly lie. Around I I love <laughs> Galaxy. I have so much nostalgia for it. And 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 okay, here's the thing. This is the Mario tier list. And this were a tier list of all games. It'd probably be in a rank if it was over against like everything. It is a much higher quality game than everything else. It is a more polished game than Sunshine, also, before we just get out of that. It is not as fun as yeah. these three other games, in my opinion. Yeah, and just an FYI, there's only, like, two games on this that I would consider bad on this whole thing. And we've already placed them. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I know you haven't played Mario Run, but even I like that, which we'll get to. Yeah. Um, Mario Galaxy is great. It's iconic. It's whatever. I just... Yeah. It's just kind of there, especially... Maybe if Galaxy 2 didn't exist, my perception of it would be a little bit better. I think. Um, yeah. But knowing Galaxy 2 exists, and I guess we can kind of talk about these games in tandem because they are, they go hand in hand. Yeah. I think Galaxy 2 is drastically better. People always say like, I oh, I think people are always like, oh, you can kind of like take your, take your pick on one of each of these. They're both about the same. No, I think Galaxy no, 2 is significantly better in every yeah. facet. The worlds are more creative. Having Yoshi's awesome. Um, the challenge stuff with like the, the speed demon comments and what what's the gimmick? Yeah. yeah, that stuff. That stuff's great. I know people were upset about like the uh, streamlining of the story, um, basically making Rosalina not even a character. Uh, the world map is just like a line again, like they started doing with like 3D World and 3D, la 3D Land. I get that. I get those are real issues. The gameplay is king in this game. <laughs> I think this game yeah. it plays immaculately. And to it's be fair, Mario it, Galaxy it, 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 better. yes, exactly. <laughs> Mario Galaxy was really close, and I know a lot of people would say Mario Galaxy One is better than all these games. But this is our personal tier list, and this is how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> and and um, going back to Mario Galaxy One, the first half is such a slog. I literally, I just, I tried playing this game multiple times. The first half, you had me in the first half, except <laughs> you didn't. You didn't have me in the first half. You had me in the, the second first half. half. <laughs> yeah, you had me in the second half. Um, <laughs> it's so slow. The thing is, I literally stopped multiple times at the end of the first half. I'm like, man, this is boring. <laughs> the very next level, when I tried to play it for the third time. Which is the, it's the level where you rescue Luigi, I remember. Because that was the first level that was good. <laughs> I think you're being a little bit harsh. The game is well, still well, fun not, up to that point. It's not the first level that's good. It's the first level that's exciting. Yeah. Which, honestly, not to get ahead of our, myself, I've never thought about this. You don't like Galaxy for the levels not being exciting, but then you, 3D World you love. So we'll get to 3D I, I think that's a very <laughs> contradictory thing. Um, but before that, Nintendo released four new Super Mario Bros. U games, or yeah, not, not you, yeah. but new Super Mario Bros. games. Um, a lot, these three, I will say, I think in my memory are just a little bit faded. I've had this, I think I've explained this to you before, my, my reasoning for how I rank these games. And we'll just talk about, we'll talk about these three first together. Yeah. I think new Super Mario Bros. 1 gets a little bit of, more of a pass because it was the first return. Mm -hmm. And going back to it, Mini Mushroom is fun. Mega Mushroom is cool. It's fine. I would probably put it like he here. How, how I don't know if I'd put it that low. I'd probably put it. I definitely wouldn't put it up. Eh. I'd, I'd probably it, like it's about it's about the same as Mario three. I'd say. Yeah, I'll put it here just not to piss people off. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Mario Bros. Wii, I think. And to be fair, I have not played this game in a long time, so maybe it's just me making little rules in my head. This game has nothing interesting about it now. Its entire gimmick was that it was multiplayer on the Wii. We have a simply better mm -hmm. version of that on the Wii U. So yeah. for me, I think this is the least interesting. I know a lot of people would say New Super Mario Bros. 2 is the worst one. I disagree. At least that game has something that attracts your eye to it. You remember, oh, that's the one with all the coins. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that one had a, like a decent gimmick. New Super Mario Bros. You know, you know what I remember? You know what I remember about New Super Mario Bros. Wii? <laughs> Big empty levels. Yeah. That's what I remember about New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Because they had to accommodate for multiplayer. Yeah. Mr. Marvel is you does that too, but to a lesser extent. But again, we'll get to that game. So I would personally um, put Wii uh, like here. I, per I personally think this game's better than DS. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh definitely. Um, well, I don't know about definitely. D D DS at its core could have been, could have been good because <laughs> it's Mario 64. But um, no, no, uh, I mean new Super Mario Brothers DS. Oh, I get what you're saying. Um, interesting. Hmm. Okay. I personally would put it in like low B. Interesting. I that's 
Well, you're, you're smart. Or, or at least more than Mario 3. Interesting. I I can't say I agree with you, but I'll do it. I I will have to see. I, eventually, I do want to replay these games because I have not played them in a long time and see if Mario Bros. Wii holds up much. I think this 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 listing right here is going to piss people off, though. <laughs> this is perfectly <laughs> this is Sandwiched between yeah. New Super um, Mario Brothers. And then personally for me, I I would still put this in the same tier. However, I do think Mario Bros. 2 is better than all, all, all of these. Per personally. I know, I know, once again, this is freaking yeah. sacrilege, but... I mean, I, I agree with uh, that one being the best one because it came out th the last out of these three, and... So they had they obviously had you know stuff to think about be like oh this can be improved in that, but also because this is single player game pretty much. Yeah, they didn't they weren't muddled part. with that. It wasn't the first one like DS where they're like all right what are we doing here? It, was, it has it multiplayer, very, but like that's, that's definitely a side note. Yeah, they didn't really focus on that. It was very much a Mario game with a coin gimmick. I don't know. I kind of like it. <laughs> I know that's I know people like trash on this game so much, but I I don't know. Good. Out of all of them, it's the only one that has something unique about it, I would say. Now, now let's get to the one that's not in C rank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get, New Super Mario Bros. U is easily the best one. This is the one we were referring to earlier when we said I th we think there, there may be a, ga a 2D Mario game that's better than Mario World. Um, if, if you include New Super Luigi U, I think this is definitely better. That's okay. Super Mario this, that's what I want to. That's the main debate. If it was just New Super Mario Bros. U, I would probably not put it above Mario World. However, New Super Luigi U is the best one. It is the best New Super Mario game by far. Um, the levels are so well designed. Mario, yeah, it's, yes. Say. So this is split. I wish I almost wish New Super Luigi U was separate on this list because I would put New Super Luigi U above Mario World and then New Super Mario Bros U below it. Let's just yeah. uh, let's just pretend this is New Super Mario Bros U Deluxe though on Switch. I, I would put it above Mario yeah. World. I don't know why. I, I don't know specifically about like New Super Mario Bros U that like is so much better than the other games. I don't know if it's just the level design. I don't know what I exactly it is. It was just more fun for me for some reason. It was more refined. Obviously, the graphics definitely help, but not not that much. But like, yeah, not that much. <laughs> it's, it's better. Um, it's it's definitely more refined than all of them because I think this came out last. Mm -hmm. Um, so it came out two months after uh, Super Mario Bros. U. <laughs> yeah, which was ridiculous. Um, but yeah, also me being able to play it with a normal controller definitely helps than playing it like a handheld. True. That's just me. So yeah, I think I think. For, for also, the record, also the, uh, the Super Acorn was my favorite Mario power up. It is a good power up. For the record, I people trash the entire new Super Mario Bros. series. I agree, they were doing way too many of them, and it in, in a short time frame, and it got very old very quickly. Including the next one, we'll get through Super Mario Bros. Run or Super Mario Run, using that same style and music, and like the Koopas bob in their heads, the same music. I get it. They're good games. People seem to trash on them just because they're generic. It's the same thing that happened with the Mario vs. Donkey Kong series, where people just started trashing on them because there were so many of them. That doesn't take away from the fact they're good games. Um, these are better than most 2D platformers. <laughs> these are still in a league of their own, comparatively, in my opinion. Um, yeah. What happened here? Oh, okay, this is how it was. Um, <laughs> but... I think it's the last Dude, game. Was... The, the, the C tier is just cursed, like... <laughs> 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 So it's just all the 2D games except for these two. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. That's really funny. Oh, except for like the, the deep the Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna post this, I'm gonna post a screenshot on Twitter. People are gonna get so angry. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not done yet, but you know, keep we're, going. We're not done yet. Uh Mario Run, I know you have not played this game. I played it when it came out. I haven't played it since. I, I think they're not updating it. This was the ten dollar mobile game that Nintendo released. I liked it. I'm not gonna lie. Uh I would put it I don't know. Eh. I mean I personally I mean I haven't played it, but from what I've seen, I can't imagine it's Better than C rank. Oh, oh, no, I wasn't going to put it that high. People, when people talk about this game, they're talking about it like down here for some reason. I would probably put it here. I would, I would still rather play the first game, but it's a, it's a fun little, like, it's not really a platformer. It's more like a puzzle, like, thinking game where, because Mario runs automatically. So it's kind of a puzzle, yeah. like, I'm thinking, like, okay, I have to wall jump here, get back down minis, there. Minis on around. the move. Yeah, I, literally. Um, I like Mario Run. I would not, I, I wish, they, I hope they add this, like, as a mode. In like another 2D Mario game, like okay, here's all of Mario Run, <laughs> just just an auto uh, runner, just to just to preserve it on console. I would not mind yeah, that. I like that because you want it really. You can, I mean, you can adjust it to just be a, a button control. You just tap to jump. Um. So, with that said, can't imagine the controls would be that complicated. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Final three, Caleb. Uh, all right. Let's get into it. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Zen mode. I 
like all three of these games. Of course. But, well, okay, well, let's not even get, talk about Odyssey yet. We'll, get, we'll talk about the 3D world and 3D land games. I love both of them. I love both of them. I played them both when they came out. I adore them. Mm -hmm. I think 3D Land is better. However, I have not played it in a long time all the way through. I've, I've recently played it and played like a couple levels. I was like, oh, this is still bussin'. I personally think 3D Land is better. I think 3D World, and we're just going to talk about both of them at once. 3D World is great. Mm -hmm. It has great themes. The themes for the levels are better. They design the levels around multiplayer. That is its Achilles. Like, Bro, they, they messed it up fundamentally the switch version really helped by increasing the, the speed of everybody moving around but designing the levels around multiplayer i think messed it up and the four player aspect so it's like you know you have to go back oh you have to use peach in this level bro i don't want to do that 3d land mm -hmm. feels more focused it was designed for the 3ds with a very specific you know 3d feature in mind 3d world it felt like nintendo was like oh damn we got to release a mario on the wii u guys they still delivered it's still a great game it feels like an empty husk of a game to me. It feels like they, they they it feels like how we talk about Kirby Star Allies meeting a quota. It feels like they were meeting a quota. They met a really damn good quota, but it still feels like a quota. All right, now tell me why I'm wrong. <laughs> I think said, where would you place it? Uh, 3D Land. And I'm 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 doing this whole speech about these games. 3D Land, I still would put mm, it's in B rank. I don't know which one of these I like more. Mm -hmm. Um. So I still like 3D Land. And then 3D right. World would be right below it. They they are next here, to each here, other. Here here's now it's my turn. Yeah. So, now, yeah. You, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll I'll, I'll sit back. <laughs> so, I think 3D Land is a good spot right there. I think that's perfect right where it is. Um. We also I like need to talk Land. about Bowser's Fury, which we'll get to. Yes. Um. And because it's not on this list, we're just going to include it. We're just going to basically 3D World. We're going to talk about Switch version. Yeah. Um, Which I need to reconsider my process actually now. <laughs> but yeah, yeah let, let um, say your piece. I thought 3D World was better. Now, here's the thing. You're right. They did make the levels designed for multiplayer. But the problem is the multiplayer sucks. Exactly. People always talking about, oh, it's so fun. Literally, we were playing. It's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> it's terrible. But uh, and I like playing a single player a lot. I think this is a really good game, <laughs> um, especially the Switch version, because it sped things up, make things faster. Not that uh, Toad, might be, Toad might be too fast now, but oh, uh, two hundred CC Toad, give me that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I really like the game. I think the game has more fun power ups than 3D Land. The cat suit. Oh, okay. I'll I'll give you. Yeah, I. That's, that's good. What is what is 3D, like, what does 3D Land even have that 3D World doesn't? Because the Nuki suits in World. Everything that's in 3D Land. As far as the power ups go, is in three. Oh, I thought so. Yeah. Okay. Boomerang. Um, There's a boomerang suit in three D land. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. That's it. okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. It basically three D world in my opinion is just a better three D land. That's just how I am. Especially the graphics are definitely way better. I like the oh, boss well, fights more. Yeah, of course. Yeah. The graphics go a long way for me. I'm like a visual kind of guy, despite me being blind. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, so there's that. The power-ups, I think, are better. Um, there's more of them. I like the boss fights a lot more. Um, I think a lot of levels are better because... Y Here's the thing. Three World is separated into different worlds, like eight different worlds or something. Or eight different main worlds. There's, like, levels in them that aren't even related to the world theme. Like, in World 2... I think that's, what is that? Is that like the desert theme or something? I believe so. There, there's levels that are like a circus. It's literally not even related at all to the world theme. Every single level, it does something unique and fun. 3D, 3D Land, I think, kind of merges together a little bit. Some of the levels feel really similar. 3D World, a lot of them are pretty different for the most part. Um, which says a lot since there's so many levels in the game. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Also, if we're talking about the Switch version... Which kind of have to since Bowser's Fury. Yes, which I did, I completely forgot Bowser's Fury. Uh, Bowser's Fury. If I if, personally if, would if consider it, Bowser's Fury a separate game. Yes. Okay. If we had an, I wish I could just add like an invisible slot here. Invisible slot. I put Bowser's Fury up here. I think Bowser's Fury is that good. I just want more of it. Mm -hmm. I think Bowser's Fury is immaculate. It, it is, and it's it's funny because it's literally just 3D world in open space. It is so good. 
I, and it makes me think that's probably what they're doing with the next 3D Mario. I mean, we can make maybe like a whole video d debating what that could be. Um, mm -hmm. We're seeing Breath of the Wild 2. We're seeing games like Elden Ring. I think that's the next step from 3D Mario. It's just an, a big open Mario game. Um, yeah. So Bowser's Fury is really good. I think I think people have, have not given that the credit it deserves, personally. Um, like, it's really good. Yeah. But that said, you put 3D um, World up here, right? Yeah, for me, 3D World's at the top right now. Obviously, it's above Mario 64, since for me, Mario 64 wouldn't even, wouldn't even be there. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I would put 3D World plus Bowser's Fury in S. Okay. Maybe maybe we'll leave S here on rank for now. <laughs> yeah. Because we're, we're both doing each other a favor here, leaving them in, leaving both these in S rank. Um, so where, where would you put 3D World plus Bowser's Fury? 3D World plus Bowser's Fury right here. Okay. Just because of Bowser's Fury being that good. 3D World by right. itself, I'd put down here. I might move this a little bit. I'm not too sure exactly. But with Bowser's Fury, at least right here. Um, yeah. And then the final game, Caleb. Yes. I'm not sure. I don't fully remember your exact opinion on this game. This is the only My thing opinion. I... And I, and here's the thing, right? Here's what my original opinion was, right? It was before Odyssey came out. 3D World is the best Mario game. That was it. Okay. <laughs> Odyssey came out, and then I'm like, oh, Odyssey's the best one. And then year two passed. Eh, it's about even. And then Bowser's Fury came out. I'm like, 3D World's better again. <laughs> and now, <laughs> recency bias aside, I think they're about equal. Okay, so here's here's my history with Odyssey. When it came out, I was more interested in watching Stranger Things Season 2, which should not have been the case. For some reason, I, that's a weird like thing to break up. For some reason, these games, this, these two things came out the same day. I played a little bit of Odyssey, and I was like, man, I'm not really feeling it. I beat it like within the first week, and I didn't touch it for months. I didn't 100% it. I was like, ah, I don't really like it. Then, when they added Luigi's Balloon World, I went back to it. I started streaming it a little bit. 100%ed it. 100%ed Luigi's Balloon World, which was a ton of fun. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think, <laughs> I, I think unabashedly, n no bias involved, this is the best Mario game. I yeah. am biased for Mario 64. I admit that. Mario Odyssey did for Mario what Breath of the Wild did for Zelda, which makes me so excited about the prospect of a full Bowser's Fury game because that... Oh, my God. <laughs> Odyssey Bowser's is so Fury is, is Odyssey. Yes. That's what Bowser's Fury is. Yes. Odyssey has so many good worlds. The movement is the only thing that compares to Mario 64, in my opinion, even to the point where with Cappy, I, I would probably say it is better, objectively speaking. Um, the amount of moons, people always say, like, oh, there's too many moons. Ah, you, you get a moon for walking in a door. Bro, it's fucking awesome. It's so much fun getting all these moons. Yeah, some of them do are really easy. Some of them are way harder. It's so much fun 100 percent this game. If you like Collectathons, if you grew up with the N64, you like Banjo-Kazooie, you like th these kinds of games, Odyssey is peak. Odyssey, people are talking about, oh, we're in a 3D renaissance, even though that was a couple years ago now, with, like, a hat in time and all this stuff. Bro, Odyssey's the only good one that came out during that period. <laughs> this Crash, Crash Trilogy, that was good. Those were remakes, and those games aren't good to begin That's with. That's true. <laughs> um, so, uh. <laughs> my, my feelings for Odyssey are really only rivaled by Mario 64, and that's only, I, I get it, I, I am very biased for that game. Odyssey, I think, is the best game, though, in this entire series. Yeah. Um, for me, though, I basically agree. I think Odyssey's movement is far superior than any other game. It doesn't even come close. Certainly better than 3D um, World. <laughs> we didn't even talk about the movement in those games. Those games don't have movement. I mean, 3D World has some... It has, like, a long a jump, roll. but it's basically useless. Yeah. <laughs> um, But, but yeah, Odyssey, I think, has the best movement of any of any 3D Mario game. It's I think it has... I think arguably has the best movement of any 3D video game. It is... Like, I would go that Definitely far. the best platformer game, at the very least. Yes. Yes. Um... Yeah, yeah, I mean, the problem with Odyssey is that I don't have anything to say about it because of how good it is, which is ironic, but... Yeah, I think the idea. It's, it's easier to nitpick things than celebrate. I can't, I can't complain about anything, pretty, you, much, pretty much. And just the amount of stuff in this game. I Mario games usually have pretty good replay value in terms of, like, okay, there's, like, post-game stuff, get all the stars, all that stuff. Just, like, even... It's so... It's only five years old, not even yet. I'm so nostalgic for, like, doing the moon and dark side, darker side, darkest side, what, dude, whatever the hell. So much fun um, in this game. Yeah. Even going to um, the Peach's Castle world at the end. 
um and just doing all the fun little stuff in that world like dude it, so good i i need to replay yeah. it it's been it's been like four years now since i've touched this game and i i want to go back because yeah. it's it's so good i think there's a there's a multiplayer mod caleb we might have to might have to hop on that i'm not sure but uh i did when the game first came out in october of 2017 i don't remember if i beat it in two days or i 100 percented it in two days but uh regardless it was really good um, but I never, I never really went back to play Balloon World. I played it so a little much bit, fun, dude. But I didn't really like it that much. I thought it was kind of boring. Maybe it's because I was streaming it, so I had like chat to keep me kind of like uh, engaged. But I also dude, have so not. Fun. I also have not played the VR levels. Nah, they're not. I heard they're not that much they're though. Not much, yeah. yeah. Pretty um, basic. But but yeah, Odyssey is like incredible. <laughs> I, I still I still think Freddy Worlds. Plus Bowser's Fury is about equal to it, though, just because of how much game there is. There is a lot of game in that game. Once yeah. you add, add Bowser's I I still need to go back and 100% Bowser's Fury. I have not done that. Kind of seems like it'll be a pain, though, man. Like, I gotta go all the way around. I gotta go on Plessy. Yeah. I, I beat the game. I got, like, 50% when I beat it. I think that's about what I did, yeah. Uh, Well, yeah, I think that's I think that's about it. That's the, that's the Mario ranking, guys. Would you change anything on this list? I know, I know obviously, you just put Mario 64 lower, but... I mean, this to... is pretty much it. Um, I think I think we debated less during this than we thought we would. Yeah, mostly mostly because my opinion of Sunshine has changed since the last time you did one of these, a little bit. Yeah, I used to be way more negative on Sunshine. <laughs> Plus, um, we we pretty much already understood each other's opinions about this. Yes, because last time last time we tried to do this, well, there was uh... Bowser's Fury <laughs> came out since the last time we did this, which true. made me ranking 3D World higher easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it. Caleb, thank you for joining me. Uh, let me know what you guys think of our tier list down in the comments below. I'd love to get a discussion going. Or even join our Discord so you can come in there and call us stupid for what, we did, what we've done here today. Ranking all those new soup games above uh, Mario Bros. 3. Um, so link to that in the description. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter at Botox Media. You can follow Twitter, uh, Caleb on Twitter at Caleb underscore Robin 99. You can subscribe here for more tier lists. If you guys want to see more tier lists, we will absolutely do more Zelda, Pokemon, Kirby, everything. We Mario Kart we will do more tier lists if you want to see them. We, we love doing these. So um, let, let me know. And uh, until next time, guys. Bye-bye. See ya.